When you drive the car of the future, you'll be connected like never before. Here at Forward Thinking, we talk about a lot of concepts like the Internet of Things, connectivity, artificial intelligence, abstract concepts that are difficult to imagine in a concrete form, unless you happen to be at Toyota's booth at CES, like I am. Now, Toyota's our sponsor, and they gave us a chance to talk to a couple of executives to learn more about how this technology will affect our lives in the future. Can you give me sort of the, the general summary? What is the idea behind the connected car? The vehicles are really part of a communication system that's communicating its health. It's communicating about the environment around it, and it's giving the driver and people around the vehicle an environment that really facilitates mobility. We're on the verge of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, where we're not taking information from a cloud and sending it to a car, but the cars are actually communicating to each other in very near term when there's an accident, when traffic's stopping. Excellent, so, so let me give you an example. Tell me if I'm way off base here. Imagine that we're, we're in an area that gets ice fairly frequently, especially on bridges. So this sort of technology might in the future be able to say, this particular bridge has ice forming on it. We've figured that out because of the data gathered by other cars. Therefore, we're going to reroute you around the bridge. It might be a little bit longer out, but it's going to be safer. Would that be a possible scenario? We're already doing that in Japan. We started that in August of 2014, and we're collecting information about road conditions, about weather conditions, and giving people safer route information, knowing that bridge A is slick and icy. Don't go that way. Can you imagine maybe five or 10 years in the future? What? How do you see this technology maturing, what might it look like for the drivers who maybe they're six years old today, but in 10 years they're going to be behind the wheel of a car. How is it going to be for them? In the future, artificial intelligence will, will allow the car to think and learn, and it'll start to know, hey, if a ball rolls down in the middle of the street, what do I do? And the car will decide, is it better to run over the ball or is it better to change lanes and perhaps hit the car next to it? And where we see artificial intelligence helping us is the car will know, hey, I got to run over the ball. Now, I have to ask you another question because I know it's on the minds of my viewers. What about security? Uh, there's been a lot of, of talk about cybersecurity when it comes to connectivity and artificial intelligence. What's Toyota doing to look into that side of the equation? We're trying to find ways as an industry to have standards in place to create cybersecurity for not only the cloud infrastructure that we're creating, but also for vehicle electronic architectures. We, we've created an auto ISAC, so a way for the auto industry to start sharing vulnerabilities, or if we see threats out there that maybe is affecting one, we can share that information so we can all start figuring out, okay, do we have a similar vulnerability? How do we stop that vulnerability before it ever becomes anything that any consumer has to worry about? That wraps up this episode of Forward Thinking. Let me know what you think driving is going to be like in the future by telling me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show and making it possible in the first place. And don't forget to check out these other amazing videos of the future right now.